That's a panic room. Oh, shit. He's fucking... Oh, my God. That could have been such a horrific situation. That could have ended so badly earlier when we kept, when we were pushed into this room by that swarm that came. Oh my god! I could have died. I could have legit have died for it. Had she fallen on me? Oh, I bet she's camping the fucking ladder. That's just rude. But the safest place in this game is probably on a ladder. Do, 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 do. Ha 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 ha. Fight for. Okay. You know what? I was like, I was like what the fuck am I doing that? But I see something over there. Now that you can definitely use, especially in this bloody place. Nice and quiet. I got the bolts, not the actual crossbow itself. We 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 haven't even been using the flares. I'm not the type that does, so Really? Not a shred of fall damage. This game is so odd. Like, certain things absolutely sh fucking shred you. But falling off of that is fine. <laughs> oh, is it? Buckingham Palace is on fire. <gasps> <gasps> okay, okay, okay. I'm alive, it's okay. That. That scared me a little bit. I ain't gonna deny it. I was nervous. We now have no way back. We are committed. Just now. I really didn't want to be. I, li I like the option of a retreat. How many are in here? He saw me. Hopefully, the other one didn't. Don't want to promise that he did. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they do burn to death eventually. That's what we're going to try and do. Hello. Hopefully he got caught on fire from that. I don't think he would. You stay in there. No, 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 no. <gasps> He's fire resistant. <laughs> They're fire resistant cons. That's annoying. That's annoying and really fucking dangerous. That means Molotovs wouldn't work on them. Ow. Stay in that. Stay in that. Yeah, they are straight fire resistant. Fire resistant. Fireproof. Resistant means it will eventually work. Have it. Do we have any snacks? Yes, we do. We've got to have some snacks. Snacks are what keep us alive.
the way we do this. Yoo-hoo! Had to backtrack a little bit. I am a pansy. <laughs> but you know what? It fucking works. Bear in mind, this game was originally on Nintendo Wii. This would have been horrific on a fucking... on one of those Wii sticks. Like, beyond horrific. These are getting annoying now. Beat him in the corner! Whew. We put it in the corner. More, more dirty secrets of the queen. I'll laugh if one day I say that and fucking something like SWAT shows up at my door. I would laugh too. I would. I'd have to. I haven't given up on that backpack yet. The patient must be restrained and cannot be calmed by any manner of herbal sedative. She seems ravenous. And nothing I feed her can satiate her monstrous appetite. As if compelled by a most foul instinct to devour all life within her reach. She freed herself of her bonds yesterday and would have gutted our horse alive if I had not reached her in time. I find myself in awe of the piteous state to which man is reduced. A walking conduit. A mere empty coil, which lives only to feed its greedy and carnal instincts. This man is good with his words. Where was I? You must forgive me. I'm a little right surprised. there. Ah yes, Dr. D. John D was a scientist. Alchemist, natural philosopher, and all that. To Elizabeth the First. <gasps> Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And Dee wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. <laughs> Dear. Uh, sorry, mustache. Alright, we got the book. <gasps> Ooh. As I said, I've not given up on that backpack yet. So, if it's not by going to the other side of the wall, it's probably by going upstairs. Yeah, I see a vent right there as well. So, there's definitely a way to get to that, and that must be by going upstairs here. I assume. Another thing we didn't do, we didn't check that downstairs area earlier. And I saw some shit down there. In some subjects, pockets filled with a rich, acrid pus form near hot, inflamed areas around the groin, armpits, and jaw. I have extracted this liquid for further investigation. Oh. Ew. Ew, that's disgusting. Brings a whole new meaning to the word dick juice. <laughs>
I am. Oh, oh. Yeah, I just put two. I was like, oh, and, then re and then immediately realized that it was not what I wanted. But there has to be a way up here then. There must be. I'm not giving up on that backpack. I fucking want it. Let's scan that wall a bit then. Scary things happened. <gasps> nope. <laughs> I'm putting that down before it even begins. How much space have we got now? Oh, yes. It's only two extra slots, but you know what? Two extra slots make the difference. Oh, let's go this way. I think... Down. Following the recommendations of De Remedi Secreti, I reduced the pus to a dry powder and discovered that injecting the concoction into the subject, God forgive me that I refer to my own wife as subject, causes the black blood to retract and wither. I glimpsed the flush of my wife's once rosy complexion through the sickness, but alas, she then succumbed to one final fit, and at last, with blessed mercy, ceased moving forever. May God have mercy upon her soul, and allow it now to rest. I remain convinced this volume offers practical methods for obtaining a solution. Perhaps even the key to save us all. I mean, yeah, that does sound like uh, the cure. I did. I see the crossbow. Oh, I have no way of knowing what I'm walking into. Oh, we're here. Oh, I know exactly where we are. It was alive. It took two hits. The angel chided me thus. Ignorance was the nakedness whereby you first were tormented. And the first plague that fell upon man was the wanting of science. The want of science hinders you from knowledge of your own self. What? Up in that before it even begins. Right, oh, something bad happened in this room. Oh shit! Oh, I know exactly where we are. Alright, we're gonna go hand this book in, and we're gonna go save it. And that's gonna be it for the stream. Because uh, I would normally like to do longer streams, but I just finished work. I'm bollocks, so let me uh slightly less on the streams today where's that hallway that led to the safe spot what it's a retinal scanner it's locked nope
Wow, another. Oh, is that through the the wall? No. That's the second one of these codes we've seen now. Identical to the last one as well. Which is in that other room by the elevator. Uh, no, no, we'll, ca we'll cash this in and then we'll go save it. And watch my watch that this decision. Turn it into a fucking turn this into an hour and a half stream to two hours. <laughs> oh, he's infected. So I'm going to take the tape of the syringe. Ooh. Ooh. The human body really is a fascinating thing. Even after all vital signs in the subject cease, the body continues to fight the infection. Amazing, eh? I thought so. You'll have to put him out of his misery first. Then take the syringe and fill it up with antibodies from the infected gland. <coughs> What? Now, that syringe will synthesize a virucide, a sort of poison, quite deadly. There's enough for one injection, but you can refill it from another willing volunteer. In that? return, I need another favor. A second book, Studium Contagione. The study of infection by D himself. It's very rare. But I happen to know Ron Friedman has a copy in his flat on Brick Lane. Ron's one of those raven chaps, you see. Oh, Brick Lane? Yeah, we already know what that is. That means there must be a sewer entrance. Just because I believe it to probably be safe does not mean I trust it. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait, it's already open. Ah. Oh. So that's where we'll be going on the next episode, on the next stream. So. Yeah, we're gonna head here. We're gonna stockpile some stuff. I, I can't believe we got a bigger backpack. I was really hoping the, they'd have a feature like that, but I'll be honest, I didn't think they would. I just assumed shit was gonna be resources. Resources would be tight the entire game. If you can't run, you might as well lie down and die. Always keep something in reserve. He's right, to be fair. Oh God, our inventory is so bare. Well, we don't need two sets of healing supplies. What we do need, though, is uh, more ammo. I only like to carry one stack though. We're gonna take some snacks just for health. Uh, I think 
that's about it. Ooh. I do, I can't wait to play with that a little bit. Alright, so we've got our inventory is two sets of snacks, crossbow bolts, pistol, crossbow itself, med kit, and a full stack of ammo. Nice. Alright, let's just have a look. Is there anything we could do here? Oh, that must be for the, uh, that must be for the assault rifle we get later. I only know that because, um, we went through, like, the scrapbook the other day, and it was like, hey, you do this, you get to this level, you can level this up. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna save it here and call it quits. We made some decent progress today, which was nice. We got Buckingham Palace done. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the Queen. I was really hoping to see Zombie Queen. But that was not in the books for us. Alright. We call it quits. Goodbye, peoples. Hope you all have a good day and a good night. Or a week or a good weekend, depending on where you are. And with that, I will see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.